It doesn't get much better for me than listening to B.B. King play a slow blues. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you five iconic B.B. King slow blues licks, and these are going to be in the style of his song Chains and Things, which is a minor blues that's in the key of A minor. Let's get straight into it. Here's the first riff. All right, so we're in the key of A minor, so right away the go-to scale choice is gonna be the A minor blues scale. And that can be played here in the fifth position. Like that. Now, BB grabs this note here on the eighth fret of the second string, that's the note G, bends it up a whole step, and then does it again. And that's it, it starts on B4, it's gonna go one, two and three and four and then he adds some vibrato right so it's four and one and two and three and and then on beat four we do this sort of like a call here and a response in the phrase so here's the call and then the response okay and this just shifts a little lower to the note D on the seventh fret of the third string. Bend it up and then play natural, pull off to five, then seven on the fourth string, that's the note A, and then pluck it again on the downbeat. So. so connecting both of those for the whole phrase, you get this. One, two, and three, and. Now putting that over the groove would sound like this. All right, so that's lick number one, and as I mentioned, that's coming out of the A minor blues scale. In fact, all of these licks and pretty much the majority of B.B. King's soloing, he's using the blues scale, just the same six notes that I played. And if you have not yet worked this out all over the neck of your guitar, I wanna give you a gift that's really gonna help you out with this. And what it is, is my blues scale PDF guide. And on it, I show you the five patterns that I use to map out the blues scale anywhere on the neck. And this is gonna help you for soloing, it's gonna help you for theory and understanding the fretboard, and it's a ton of fun. You can grab this completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash bluescales or click the first link down below and grab that as my gift to you. Now, as I mentioned, that's coming right out of A minor blues scale. All right, now the next slow blues BB King lick I wanna show you is another classic move he would do all the time. It sounds like this. So he's using just two strings here of that blues scale pattern. We play the fifth fret on the second string to the fifth fret on the first string, then slide eight to 10 on the second string. And this is the trick here. BB would play the note A and then the note A on a different string. And it just gets a great sound. Then he's gonna finish it up with the note C there on the first first string, eighth fret, back to the note A on the 10th fret of the second string. So. Now rhythmically, we've got a little syncopation here. It comes in right before beat four on the last 16th note, the uh of three. Check it out. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a. So this is on the downbeat. Here's what it sounds like with a little backing. All right, lick number three has kind of two phrases to it, like the first lick, it sounds like this. All 
All right, so we're going up a little bit higher here. We're playing the 10th fret on the first string. We're gonna bend that up, bring it down, pull off to eight, then 10 on the second string, real quick like this. Now that's gonna come in on beat four. We'll count one, and two, and three, and... Okay, and then we have a extension of this riff. It's almost the same thing. You bend the 10 again, and then bring it down, do a pull off, 10, eight, and then 10, 10. Okay, so three. Comes in on the and of three, three, and three. Here's both of those phrases together. All right, next we're just gonna use three notes, but this is a great one. Here's what it sounds like. All right, so that's just three notes. I'm playing the note A on the 10th fret of the second string, then go to the first string and play A, 10, and then we're gonna do a pull off to eight. Okay, so the notes there are A, C, D, C. A, C, and D. Again, just three notes from the blues scale, but one thing I wanna point out is the phrasing, okay? Now when you copy B.B. King and you copy the greats, they're gonna do certain things at certain times. And what I want you to take note of here is this pull off. So he could have gone, but he went. And just adding that little pull off at the end makes it just, it makes it cooler. And these are the subtle nuances that you can pick up from the greats. And if you start copying you know, when they do the pull-offs or when they do a hammer-on or a slide, you're gonna start sort of soaking this up and absorbing it like a sponge into your own playing. And this is how you start speaking the language of the blues. So here it is with a little backing. All right, for the fifth and final lick, we're gonna play this one. All right, again, just those three frets there. We're gonna start by bending the 10th fret on the first string. Then we'll bring it down 10, pull off to eight, 10 on the second string. Eight on the first string, 10 on the second string. It starts in the and of three, one and two and three and. Here it is again. All right, next I'm gonna take all five of these licks and just string them together into a solo so you can hear what it sounds like when you start improvising with these phrases and just dropping them into your solos. Here we go. So that's how you start channeling B.B. King. Be sure to practice those licks one at a time and then to help you map this stuff out anywhere on the neck and really start jamming the blues, grab my free blues scale PDF guide. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash bluescales and that way you can learn the five patterns that I use to master the blues scale anywhere on the neck. Hope you enjoy that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, and for more BB King, check out this video next.